Hey guys, it's Medical Officers Perfect Snails one more time, continuing our discussion about bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous videos, we have talked about petechiae, purpura, and ecchymosis. Today, we'll talk about a special type of ecchymosis, which is around the eye. It's not actually an ecchymosis. It's technically a contusion slash bruise. But anyways, I'm going to explain it to you. With that being said, now let's get started. As you know, thrombocytopenia clinically leads to superficial bleeding, which could be skin or mucosal skin, such as petechia purpura or ecchymosis. All of these are subcutaneous hematomas. One condition can lead to all of them. They have the same underlying mechanism, which is a disruption in the vessel wall and the primary hemostasis or the secondary hemostasis. And by the way, now you can get my antibiotics course and use the promo code antibiotic70 to get 70% discount. This discount is available for only four more students. In this course, you'll get 40 videos, 70 questions, 35 cases, plus PUN, which is my perfect snails ultimate notebook, plus a mind map to remember the antibiotics. Go to medicosisperfectsnails.com. If you purchase this course at any price, you'll get an 80% discount on my next course, which is going to be cardiac pharmacology. And we have talked about the causes of each of them in previous videos. And today's topic is ecchymosis around the eye, which is technically a contusion. By the way, in medicine, the word contusion is equivalent to the word bruise. Trauma to the eye can be foreign body, corneal abrasion, contusion, or laceration. Contusions are the same as bruising, technically not the same as ecchymosis. Some people will describe them as the same thing and will use them interchangeably, but I just told you the truth. So this happens with closed globe trauma. When someone punched you in the face and of course you close your eye, it's a reflex, and then what's gonna happen? Contusion, which is the same thing as bruise. Echymosis, which is not technically, but it's okay. Around the eye. We we call this black eye, like this picture. It's not like it's kind of dark purple to black. So when mommy told you don't hit anyone in the eye, she was not joking because she understood the consequences of closed globe trauma, also known as contusion, which can lead to echymosis around the eye, subconjunctival hemorrhage, corneal edema, hyphema iridodialysis, pupillary sphincter paralysis, accommodation muscle paralysis, cataract, lens cataract, do you mean if someone hit me, it can lead to cataract? Yes. Lens dislocation, vitreal or vitreous body hemorrhage, retinal detachment, choroid rupture, orbital floor fracture, or even optic nerve injury. Here is something to keep in mind. There is a difference between black eye and raccoon eye. Raccoon eye, they call this raccoon eye in the United States, but in the UK, they call it panda eyes. Apparently, they don't have raccoons there, but I have no idea. Black eye, it's ecchymosis around the eye. Okay, raccoon eye, it's kind of the same thing, but it's bigger. This is unilateral. Raccoon eye is bilateral. Black eye is caused by injury to the face, not the eye. Raccoon eyes caused by basilar skull fracture, also as fractured base of the skull. This is usually not an emergency. This is an actual emergency. And sometimes it's followed by or accompanied by other signs, such as batter's sign, which is bleeding like behind your ear. You can have cerebral spinal fluid dripping out of your nose. It's, it's horrible. Please help me by sharing my videos with others, or if you want to support this channel, go to patreon.com slash medicosis, subscribe and join the tribe, hit the bell to get notified, and smash like. Follow me on Facebook and all of these platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Channels, where medicine makes perfect sense.